Hey guys, Vernon here. Just uh, filling you guys in on a cool little thing I got. This is the Hobby Zone Mini Mauler. It's a 20th scale RC monster truck and it's pretty awesome. Uh, take off the clips. As you can see, it's got like a little like sand body, it's just like a normal scale truck. Uh, under the hood, you'll see your ESC, your crystals for your uh, receiver. The motor's back there, but you can't you can't see it. But the servo's kind of hidden inside there. I've been playing with this truck, and it is really cool. I do like it. Uh, I traded my cousin my micro T for it and it's an awesome trade it's a lot faster it's more fun and everything like that uh... it's got bigger shocks than the micro t does and it costs the same price around eighty bucks better shocks higher ground clearance bigger tires just a bigger truck because those are thirty second scale something like that for batteries uh... As you can see, kind of by this picture right here, it takes four double A's. Uh, you're thinking, oh, hobby cars and no oh, double A's. No. They also have rechargeable nickel metal packs that you can buy for it. And my cousin, he didn't give me those, but I don't care because he only had one charger. And, and then he told me that it does take the four double A's. And this car like with the charge because I'm using uh, can you see that rechargeable double A batteries just like normal double A batteries you just put them inside this thing and then hook it up to the car and it, it works but this will last me just about all day if I were to like sit here for maybe two hours and drive it that's probably how long the battery life is the battery life is just super long and it's it's uh it's pretty fast. I want to say it is faster than the micro T, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it has really high center of gravity, so it likes to roll when it gets traction. But that's not too bad. And not with this battery, not with the double A's, but with the rechargeable pack that my cousin has. Uh, it'll it'll pop wheelies. It'll pop wheelies up in there. It's it's real fun to watch. And it, I mean, it goes through grass. The micro T wouldn't go through grass. This just cuts right through grass over dirt, and it's cool. There's a lot more you could do with it. Um, I'm looking to upgrade to brushless because uh, this is pretty slow. But a brushless system this small shouldn't cost too much money. Maybe fifty, sixty bucks. That's not too bad. Uh, it also came with a two-channel transmitter. Uh, just, you know, standard little transmitter, nothing special about it. What's the, with the tip broken off? But I got it from my cousin. It, it's cool. He also has one. He got two of them. He didn't buy them. He got them in a from a storage unit and or from a friend. And they're really cool. So he's gonna try and get his fixed up and. I'm going to try and get mine fixed, oh, mine's fixed up, but, and I'll try and make a running video for you guys. I got some ramps built here out of cardboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight ramps I got. So we do a little monster jam thing, that'll be cool. I'll, I'll make a video of it running. Alright, so that's the Hobby Zone Mini Mauler. Here, you know what, oh no, I'll show you guys later. I'll turn it on for you. Alright, so once the batteries are charged, you just pop them in there. Like this, kind of slide them in there. This is the, one of those things off one of the nitro cars. And there we go. It doesn't have this connector on here. As you can see, they're different, but it just slides right on there. Like that. It's on. The steering is like really powerful on this thing, and then 
motor. That works good. And the battery pack will just slide right in here, like this, but like that. But I don't have those little tiny clips, I don't know where they are, so I just put zip ties over them, like that. Two little zip ties, and that holds it on there. There you have it. There's the Hobby Zone Mini Mauler. Like I said, I'm looking to upgrade. Uh, but look forward to a running video of this cool truck. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave plenty of comments in the comment box. And if you have any questions or requests, I'll be sure to answer those for you. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.